Many resource users all over the world have dealt naturally with variations in resource supply. And as a result, they have a tremendous capability of getting access to resources. It's uh, when, when other things begin to constrain their ability to deal naturally with their resources, then, then their, their problems develop. So for example, when they become less dependent on resources and more dependent on a steady supply of food or from, from the store, then, uh, then they lose their flexibility to deal with natural resources. Or alternatively, when they move from uh, a society that's migratory to a society that's fixed in place by infrastructure, then they lose their capability to adjust. So I think one of the things that is most important for resource users is to provide mechanisms by which they can use their natural ability to adapt to the environment uh, to be able to take advantage of fluctuations in resource supply. So in Alaska, for example, uh, one of the things, it used to be that people would move from place to place when there were changes in season or between years if there was a wildfire they would move to a place that still had uh, the sorts of animals that they used to harvest. And now that they're fixed in place by airports and schools and churches and stores and permanent housing, they no longer have this flexibility. So if we can provide other mechanisms to provide this flexibility, then they have a tr tr tremendous amount of creativity to be able to adapt and, and find ways to make use of resources. And they're proud of their ability to, to adapt and cope. So I think I'm optimistic about their ability to deal with climate change as long as we can provide the, the other mechanisms of flexibility and empower them with the, the ability to make the choices that they wish to choose.